Now, for the last two years, most large-scale gatherings have, of course, been cancelled because of coronavirus. Music festivals, which formed a very important part of our region's summer calendar, were among the many events called off. But now as we move out of the pandemic, plans are in place for them to return this year. And one of those making a comeback is the Doonhame Festival in Dumfries, which has just announced its lineup. James Marhon is at the festival site for us now. James? It's damp here in Dumfries, but hopefully it'll be a lot sunnier this summer. Um, it's third time, lucky really, for Doonhame. A lot of cancellations, a lot of postponements over the last three years. And a very patient festival organiser, Sandy. Sandy, it's going to happen, hopefully, fingers crossed. What's it been like for you making this become a reality? So the last few years, obviously, have been very stressful for us. Um, and we, had, uh, we just kind of fell at the last hurdle last year. Um, and then we brought it all back together and here we are again. Uh, things are looking a lot more positive, so we just, just look forward to another great year and hopefully this will be um, a year that people come and enjoy your great live music up here at the Crichton. So really looking forward to it. Now, this entire place right behind us is going to be transformed. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect all around you uh, this July? Yeah, so there's um, multiple stages. The main stage is featuring the Water Boys and Alabama 3 this year, um, adding to the, already, the lineup we already had. So that's a you know, great, really pleased with that lineup. And there'll be DJ tents, craft fairs, um, and th something to do for all the family, really. You've got a busy few months ahead. Uh, what, what's on your agenda for the next few months to make everything get ready to cross the finish line? Yeah, so obviously selling tickets is important, but um, you're know, organising a festival. It seems to have come in really quickly, and although it seems we have a bit of time at the moment, I'm sure we'll be at July before we know it. Um, so, yeah, it's going to come in really quickly. Yeah. And, of course, everything's come, come to life, so our industry is, is busy again, which is good to see. It really is, Sandy. Thank you so much. And we wish you the very best of luck in the next few months ahead. And hopefully we have a lot sunnier weather this, this July. That would be good, James, wouldn't it, if the weather was nice? Um, Doonham isn't the only music festival, though, is it, James? It's actually making a comeback in the south of Scotland. No, in June, actually, 20 miles from here uh, in Moffat, just outside Moffat, the Eden Festival is also going to bring a number of big, big acts right here to the south of Scotland, including Basement Jacks and Coolio. Uh, both um, events are family-friendly as well, so they're expecting up to 300 acts at the Eden Festival across 10 stages. Uh, tickets for that are also available online. So really, we hope that this summer in the south of Scotland is one full of the sound of music and one with a lot more sun than we're seeing right now. Back to you guys in studio. James, thank you very much. Yeah, it's great to hear and that enthusiasm for live events really coming back. Although I'm a bit worried about James. I think he needs a jacket. <laughs> so well, he's a waterproof. Yeah. Well, he's a, hopefully we won't need those in the summer. Here's Fingers the forecast crossed. for tomorrow with Joe.